In Jerusalem, when Paulo was worshipping at the temple, the Yehudim from Asia came and caused an uproar, such that the thousand ruler came down upon them and arrested Paulo. And Paulo said to him, I beseech thee, permit thou for me to speak to the people. And of him having permitted, Paulo standing on the stairs beckoned with the hand to the people, and when a great hush became, he spoke to them in the Abrais dialect, saying, Acts chapter 22, Men, brothers and fathers, hear ye the defense which I now make to you. And when they heard that he spoke to them in the Abrais dialect, they were the more quiet, and he saith, I am a Yehudi, born in Tarso of Kilikia, but brought up in this city at the feet of Gamaliel, instructed according to the strict manner of the law of our fathers, being zealous for the God, even as ye all are this day. And I persecuted this way to the death, binding and delivering into prisons both men and women, as also the high priest doth bear me witness, and all the estate of the elders, from whom also I received letters to the brothers, and journeyed to Damashak to bring them also that were there to Yerushalem, in bonds, to be punished. And it was that as I made my journey, and drew near to Damashak, about noon, suddenly there shone from the sky a great light round about me, and I fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to me, Shaul, Shaul, why persecutest thou me? And I answered, Who art thou, Lord? And he said to me, I am Yeshua the Nathoriah, whom thou persecutest. And they that were with me beheld indeed the light, but they heard not the voice of him that spoke to me. And I said, What shall I do, Lord? And the Lord said to me, Arise, and go into Damashak, and there it shall be told thee of all things which are appointed for thee to do. And when I could not see for the glory of that light, being led by the hand of them that were with me, I came into Damashak. And one Hananiah, a devout man according to the law, well reported of by all the Yehudim that dwelt there, came to me and standing by me said to me, Brother Shaul, receive thy sight. And in that very hour I looked up into him. And he said, the God of our fathers hath appointed thee to know his will, and to see the righteous one, and to hear a voice from his mouth. For thou shalt be a witness for him to all men of what thou hast seen and heard. And now why tarriest thou? Arise and be baptized, and wash away thy sins, having called upon his name. And it was that when I had returned to Yerushalem, and while I prayed in the temple, I fell into a trance, and saw him saying to me, Make haste, and go thou out in swiftness out of Yerushalem, because they will not receive of thee testimony concerning me. And I said, Lord, they themselves know that I imprisoned and beat in every synagogue them that believed on thee. And when the blood of Stephan or thy witness was shed, I also was standing by and consenting and keeping the garments of them that slew him. And he said to me, Depart, for I will send thee forth far hence to the nations. And they were hearing him as far as this word, and they lifted up their voice and said, Away with such a fellow from the earth, for it was not being appropriate for him to be living. 
And as they cried out and threw off their garments and cast dust into the air, the thousand ruler commanded him to be brought into the castle, bidding that he should be examined by scourging, that he might know for what cause they so shouted against him. And when they had tied him up with the straps, Paulo said to the hundred ruler that stood by, Is it lawful for you to whip a man that is a Romano and uncondemned? And when the hundred ruler heard it, he went to the thousand ruler and told him, saying, What art thou about to do? For this man is a Romano. And the thousand ruler came and said to him, Tell me, art thou a Romano? And he said, Yeah. And the thousand ruler answered, With a great sum obtained I this citizenship. And Paulo said, But I am born thus. They then that were about to examine him immediately departed from him. And the thousand ruler also was afraid when he knew that he was a Romano, and because he was being one having bound him. But on the morrow, desiring to know the certainty for what reason he was accused of the Yehudim, he loosed him and commanded the chief priests and all the council to come together and brought Paulo down and set him before them. And Paulo, looking steadfastly on the council, said, Men, brothers, I have lived before the God in all good conscience until this day.